Hey y'all, good morning. So it's Monday and Kendall and Mason just left. And you're probably wondering where Mason went. So my grandma had some appointments back in Jersey that she had to attend to. So Mason is going to our our friend's mother. So yeah. So they just left. I don't have to be to work till 12. And the cable guy will be here in about 50, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna close my eyes and go to sleep for a little bit. And then once he gets here, you know, I'll be up. Then I'll do what I gotta do. But just came on here to say good morning. All right, y'all. So I am currently just trying to put some stuff away in Mason's closet right there. Um, and just, you know, do as much as I can. It is 9.23, so probably in an hour, I'll probably get ready for work. And that's loud. The cable guy just left, so. Yeah. So I'm glad we finally have Wi-Fi and stuff, even though it was only a day. But yeah, just trying to get, get as much clean as I can. So, I did say the cable guy was gone. I just, um, I just got done editing yesterday's vlog, and I'm like, this is horrible quality, and <laughs> what else? I just felt like it wasn't good, so I do apologize, y'all. I'm gonna try to improvise and, improvise and add more stuff in here, even without me having my camera. So, I'm about to just prepare dinner. We're having curry chicken. I bet you could guess that. So, I was supposed to make it last night, but it just took so long to get the, um, cooking equipment over here. So, anyway, let's do it. Sorry. So I was about to get ready to cut up my chicken and get it seasoned and marinated and all that good stuff. The knives aren't here. The knives are nowhere to be found. So what I'm about to do is just take it out of the bag, wash it, and then just season it and put it in there and I'll cut it later, I guess. And I meant to show y'all our new mats that we got. This was from Walmart. Only $5, y'all. That was really cute. Hey, y'all. So... Kendall and I just picked up Mason not too long ago and we stopped at my aunt's house to say hi and she was just like no Mason staying with me for a little bit so we just obviously took advantage of it and now we're at Walmart need a grocery shop and get some more home stuff because apparently all that couple hundred that we spent was not good enough what'd you say I wasn't paying attention but anyways see y'all in Walmart so I just want to show y'all the groceries that we got at Walmart. I'm going to show y'all in bits and pieces. So I got some Ruffles, a regular, oh regular, regular chips, the original. Got some large shrimp for some shrimp and grits. Got this um, crispy battered fish filet. And then I got the baked chips. We got a bag of green beans as well as some crab cakes. Some vegetable oil and Kendall and his freaking double shots. Then I got some grits for some shrimp and grits. Got two package of the Nor chicken flavored rice. Then I got four of the, um, I call them sweet water, but flavored water. We have some potatoes, some onions, and then some leg quarters, as well as some bananas. Had to take a little break because somebody was fussy. Right, mama? So we're watching Team Mom because this is our show. And then I'm also trying to cook. But Mason was a little bit fussy, so I had to stop for a little bit. And then we also got this big five-pound rice for only $3. Hopefully, it's not trash quality. Some orange chicken sauce. Chocolate chip pop, chocolate chip cookie dough Pop-Tart. One of the best. I randomly wanted to try this. And then we got two pieces of fresh salmon. One right here. One on the bottom. And then we got some um sorry y'all some chicken breast too as well as some cheese hey y'all happy tuesday let me tell y'all how tired i am it's 11:09. last i remember was i was on the way to work um clearly i didn't go to work i slept in kendall school parking lot for two and a half hours but i'll see you at home Hey y'all, so basically what I was saying in the car was I went to drop Kendall off at work and I was so tired, like I literally couldn't drive. If that, if I'm that tired that I feel like I, can, I need to park and sleep, it's a problem. I ended up going to bed for like, or going to sleep for like two and a half hours. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm not at work, but I don't know what to say y'all. 
I let me sit down and talk to y'all real fast because I'm trying to like fix our closet up and everything so knock some stuff out but y'all I'm stressed and the crazy thing about it is it's not really Mason you know most people be like oh as a new parent no my baby girl is so well behaved and so easy to deal with thank the lord because I don't even know what I would do it's just I don't know y'all it's a lot going on I know people probably be like you you do too much you're moving, you're doing this, you're doing that. Yes, we need the space, y'all. I would trust me. If we could have thugged it out and paid hundreds, of, not hundreds, but a couple hundreds less rent, of course we would have done we would have done that and everything. But clearly that's not what's working for us right now. And I'm just so tired, y'all. Like <sighs> I'm so tired and stressed and I don't know. I just need a long break. But anyways, I'm trying to like rearrange our, rearrange our closet, hang up some things and everything like that. Um, Rooms to go is supposed to be coming. So I did the, um, the two-day delivery. But once you do that, they give you a 15-hour window. So, and they don't call you before time or anything like that. So if you miss it, you miss it. And I think they do that just, if you work at Rooms to Go, let me know why they do that. But let me tell you my theory. I feel like they do that so people wouldn't choose that option. And they will wait longer so they can have that one to two hour window. But listen, we need the bed. Um, We went and got, or we're getting an upholstery king size bed. We need it, y'all. Kendall six for... And, and we need it. So anyways, I'll show y'all the bed when it gets here. It's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mouth. So I still have not laid down yet. Well, part of that is um, <clears throat> because somebody's going to pick up Kendall from work. So I don't have to worry about leaving out of here. Because we live about 30 minutes away from his job. Mm, yeah, about 30 minutes away from his job. So I don't have to worry about leaving here and then going to get Mason. Because, again, with the rooms to go. So I'm just going to prep dinner. Okay, so it's 12.53. So I'm probably going to try and close my eyes by 2 at the latest. So I'm about to prep dinner. Tonight we are having salmon. Um, probably some rice and um, green beans. Kendall needs to pick up a lemon before he comes back. So yeah, that's what we're going to have for dinner. Oh, and crab cakes because they're already out. There's still so much to put away, y'all. I accomplished a lot yesterday before I went to work. And then the boys, Kendall and his friends, went back and got some more stuff out the apartment. So we're pretty much almost done clearing out our apartment. So this box right here, I can't do too much with it until our drawers come in today with the bed because this is Mason stuff that needs to go into the drawers. The rest of this I just haven't tackled yet, which I will. This side, as you guys remember, there was a whole pile of stuff right here. I tackled that. So need to put that stuff away. That box is like coats and stuff like that. But I'm trying, y'all. So I just washed off the um, fish and I cut off the back skin, if you can tell on that. So, um, and I love the way this feels. I haven't bought fresh salmon from Walmart before. Um, this is really awesome. All together, this was like $10 if anybody was interested. So here's my fish seasoned and ready to go. So rooms to go just called me. I guess it was their customer service um, office. She just called me. She was like, "Hey, Miss Coleman, I'm just calling to see how your delivery went." I don't know. You tell me, cause I'm still sitting here waiting for. It. She was like, "You mean to tell me it's not there?" I'm like, "That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you." She was like, "Oh, maybe it was closed out in air." I'm hoping it was closed out in air and it wasn't one of those things where it's just like you're going to pretend like I wasn't home because even before I got home today, Kendall's friend was sitting here waiting for the furniture since 7 o'clock this morning. Well, we left at 7.30 this morning. No, then we did it. Like 7.15. So he's been here since 7.15. So like I said, they still have what? Less than about three, three hours and 15 minutes to go. So... Let's just see what happens. 
So I just had to take a little break from cooking because Kendall had to go to the old apartment to pick up a couple of things. Um, so anyways, about to get started back on that. Kendall just left to go get Mason. It's a little bit later today than, you, than we would typically go and get her. But thank God, you know, the person that's watching her isn't like, y'all need to come get y'all child now. <sighs> Lord, y'all, I was just telling Kendall, I'm... What the heck was that? the door he just left out the door that's why I was open but anyways I was just telling Kendall that I need to do better I'm always on here telling y'all how I need to do better let me put this down so I want to be a better wife a better mother a better employee a better individual and it's just it's a lot but I'm really trying my best like all last week after we got back from Atlanta or you can even include Atlanta we ate out. I mean, it was just horrible. So I told Kendall, you know, I'm really going to do my best to come in the house and try to cook. Granted, Kendall cooks too, but, you know, he also has a second job. So, like, most of the time, like, tomorrow, um, he's going to be um, going straight to his second job once he picks me up. So, you know, I want to do my best to have dinner waiting and stuff for him. You know, just do my best with that. You know, as far as Mason, sometimes... I feel like I need to bathe her at an earlier time and just just do better, y'all. So I'm really trying my best. It's hard, but, you know, other women can do it, so I can do it as well. But anyways, let me make this dinner, y'all. All right, here is dinner. So I got green beans with, um, I put minced garlic in it, and this just put some seasoned salt, butter, and pepper on that. Got the Nora chicken rice, just put butter in it and water. This is the salmon, and then here are the crab cakes. So dinner is ready, y'all. This is so good. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Look who's home. Yeah, mommy's big girl. Yeah. Hi. Are you going to tell everybody hi? How was your day? It was good? <laughs> hey, y'all. So it's 9.43. I got a call from rooms to go. Probably around 9.15, if not 9 o'clock. Um, so basically, it was a customer service representative, and he basically said that the driver still had two more stops to go and was not going to make it here by 10 o'clock. So he, can, he, he still wants to deliver it, but it's not going to be till later on. And he was like, do you accept or decline this all, um, delivery? What do you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, duh, come here. Like, and he was like, okay, and customer service will definitely be in contact with you tomorrow. If they're not in contact with me, I'm I'm surely going to be in contact with them. It it just sucks because it was a 15-hour window, and they have specific instructions. Like, you can't call us and get any time frames. You, um... You must be at home at all times, yada, yada, yada. And it's just like, when I obey something so tedious like that, because let's be real, who really has 15 hours to just stay at home the whole time? And when you obey something like that, the least you expect is good customer service. So let's see what they say so far, but tomorrow they will be here in my raft. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 944. It's just like, once again, I don't work for them, and I understand because I do also work in customer service, and I understand ish happens, okay? So I don't want to sound completely ungrateful, but my thing is, in that case, Rooms to Go should definitely have a certain amount of numbers that they do a day when it comes to these type of deliveries, just so they're not accepting anything that comes in all day. And then somebody is left like I am. You get what I'm saying? Or or tarnish their name. Like, if it's that, because they have to keep into consideration the driver has to drive to get the stuff. The driver has to drive to each destination as well as to hook up and set up each thing. So that takes time, but we'll see how it is. Anyways, just over here folding laundry. Kendall just went to go put some in the room. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Hey y'all, I'm pretty sure I just ended the last vlog. Look her back here fussing. Okay, mom mesh. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so it's 10.38, and the delivery guy just 
called me again and was just like, ma'am, we're having some technical difficulties where we're at right now. So it doesn't look like it's going to be until after midnight. And I'm just like, and he sounds exhausted and I'm exhausted. I'm not staying up for no delivery for y'all to come and set it up. Lord knows how long that's going to take. So I just declined it and I said I was going to call customer service in the morning. Y'all, they are going to hear my raft because I'm mad. Like, are you serious? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, the crazy thing about it is if if I hadn't been home, somebody had would have been here until I got off. And then we would have been here. Like, it's just ridiculous. And like I told him, nobody has time to just be sitting here all day, every day. So tomorrow when I talk to them, I'm definitely going to ask them to deliver my furniture tomorrow within a certain time frame. But let me go, y'all. She is mad. Look at her. Bye, y'all.